Hello beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluchi Imo. I talk about cake business in this channel. How did I forget myself for a minute there? <laughs> my name is Oluchi Imo and you are welcome to my channel. I talk about cake business here. I talk about personal development. I do story time vlogs tutorials as well. And you are welcome once again. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to go about business name registration in Nigeria. If you're living in Nigeria as a baker and you want to register your cake, your business name or your cake business name, then this is the video that you need and this is the video you've been waiting for. Yes, this video was popularly requested by some of my subscribers. I don't know their names now, but if I can find their comments and their requests or suggestions as well, I'll put it right here on the screen. So thank you so much for your suggestions and we'll be going right ahead into the video. You're welcome back. So let me start by giving a brief um, backstory to how I registered mine. I know that I've mentioned it a couple of times or a few times in my videos, how I registered my business officially six years ago. So I registered my business um, in the year 2015, on the 3rd of June 2015. And what I did back then when I was ready, when I knew that I was ready, I've been using the name, I've been going by that name, but I had not registered it. There was no official um, documentation to show that this was the name of my business. So I felt that it was time and I felt that I didn't want the name to go. I, you know, I have obviously had an idea of, you know, that you have to register your business name with the Corporate Affairs Commission here in Nigeria. That's the body that is responsible for registering business names and for registering companies. All right. So I reached out to a barrister who helped me with the process. I don't know what he did. What I know I did was to submit the name to him. And like I mentioned in, in one of my recent videos, when I gave it to him, he was like, oh, this name is unique. It's, it's different. It's not sure that the name would have been taken. So I... Um, gave the name to him. He did the search. So first of all, you do a search. Okay, so if you're doing manually, which I am not sure is still being done now or is still being done. If you do not want to, to go about doing it yourself, you can still hire someone, I think. So I gave it to him. He did the name search and then came back to say that the name was still available. And so I went ahead to pay for the registration. What I can remember now is the amount exactly that I paid. So he did it and had to wait a couple of weeks. There's a particular time frame. I don't know whether it's two or three weeks, I can't remember now because it's been a while, okay? So, I registered the name and finally told me that the name had been registered. I had to pay him for his services. I don't know if I paid for to the to the CEC, but I know I had to pay some amount of money. He told me the name was um, the name had been registered, and a um, few days after when we met, it was handed over the documents. All right, so you need to be you hand you over the certificate. I forgot to bring mine here. I would have shown you what it looks like, but I think I can get a copy on Google or somewhere, and I will attach it if. Um, that's possible or if you'd like to see that okay so that was how i got my certificate the hard copy which would entail your business name the date of incorporation the address the directors and some few other details it's not just a sheet they are like there were like two or three other documents or lists that i was given that had details my personal details and some other things so that is how to go about it manually and that is how about I went about mine and that is how i went about mine but these days there's the option of online registration all right so you don't have to use somebody like i mentioned earlier i don't know if the option is still available but if you want to use somebody fine but there's an option of doing it yourself it's a diy service now where you can register your business online i visited the website as, as i was doing my research for this topic and i saw that there is the option for you to um, do some certain things there are different options so if you want to register a business name fine you can register if you want to reserve a name you can reserve a name if you want to do something else you can if you want to change your name there's even the option for that so i did a, a research into this but first of all you have to create an account without you creating accounts with some of your personal with the personal details as listed or as needed as you can see you cannot proceed with your registration okay so first of all you need to create an account but for searching for the name if you want to search um, if your name the name you intend to use for your business is still available then you don't need to register an account obviously you can just do that search and you see if it's available or not i searched for my name and a couple of names that i knew here or that i know here in nigeria and i could see the date of registration and all of that so you can just search for the name but if you want to reserve a name and if you want to register you want to do some certain things on the website then you need to create an account which is pretty basic pretty easy you just need to fill in your personal details like your name date of birth address your um some other things that you can see all right so the address of the website or the website address is www.cac.gov.ng and please this video is not promoted i forgot to mention that initially all 
the opinions shared here are personally mine and based on research this video is not sponsored thank you all right so you need to check www.cac.gov.ng and then you can do everything that you need to do by yourself there is a fee that you need to pay if you just log on to the website everything is pretty simple and everything is pretty basic now i made some notes so i'll be looking down to guide me and to help me so that i don't miss out any point so if you see me looking down I'm looking at my notes all right so you can create an account first of all you create an account and then the second thing you need to do is to check for the availability of the name that you intend to register if the name is available then you can proceed if the name is not available that means you need to get another name because you cannot register a name that has already been taken if a name has been registered a number will be assigned to it okay and you cannot um, obviously nobody wants to deal with that conflict or the confusion of having um, a business, two different businesses bearing the same name. So if the name is gone, it's gone. So number two, check for availability of the name you wish to register. And then number three, you can proceed to reserve a name. Say for example, if you're not set to start using it or to start to register, I believe you can go ahead to register a name. All these need you to create an account. So I couldn't go further and I can't tell you what is there when you want to reserve a name. But if you create an account and you check, you'll see it. So number four is to complete pre-registration form and upload all necessary documents. All right, you upload all necessary documents. And number five, according to what you have on your website, these were the things that I saw there. You'll be issued an e-certificate of registration and certified extract of registration information. So you'll be issued an e-certificate. Let me take that again. Number five, you'll be issued an e-certificate. Now, e-certificate, you know, I mentioned mine was a hard copy. I was handed over the documents. So I believe it's an e-certificate is something that you can actually print out, right? So issue an e-certificate of reg registration and certified extracts of registration information. And this is what you need to do. And I believe it's just a simple, easy process and shouldn't take long like it used to back in the days. Now, somebody else asked, what next? Hadiza were the ones that suggested this video. Thank you so much, Hadiza. And a couple of other persons have said it in the past. Apologies, I cannot remember their names. Okay, well, thank you, Hadiza, and thank you, everyone. And thank you to the other person that added to Hadiza's comment. So somebody asked, what next? And I'll be answering that part of the question in this video. So after you've registered your business name, you can go to the bank. All right, that means you're ready to start um, your business. So um, you go to the bank and you obtain your... Um, you can When you go to the bank, you would open a corporate account so corporate account is usually a current account so you open a current account a corporate account with the business name that you've registered they would ask you for the documents they will ask for your id some some documents and you need to provide all those to the accounts officer that would help you with the registration or with the opening of the accounts please so you can apply for a team. They will also ask you for your team. And you can apply for your team, which is your tax identification number. It is a 14-digit number that is issued by the FIRS. That's the Federal Inland Revenue Service in Nigeria. They would issue you this team. And with the team, you would be able to also add that to what you need to open your corporate account. All right. So on the other hand, um, based on what I saw on Google, Note, on the other hand, non-individuals can register for their team by visiting da, 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 the stated the website, as you can see. Note that, or the link, note that before you can request for a team number as a corporate body, your business has to be registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission, that is the CAC. This is free of charge. You do not need to pay anyone, although you have a choice. Although you have a choice, okay, so your TIN number is a 14 digit number that will be issued to you. I have my TIN number and I um, use that in opening my corporate account as well. Now, let me say something if you know that you're not ready to start doing business, I would advise that you probably wait, or if you want to, you know, start using it, um, you can go ahead. But if you're not ready, please hold on with opening your account. Once you've registered your business name, I believe that it's safe and nobody can take it. There's not the option of another person taking it because like I said, your registration number will be assigned to you, okay? So if you've registered your name, it is safe, you're fine. But if you want to proceed with using business or using this account for your business, transactions and payments, then you need to open a corporate account. Once you open that corporate account, it starts reading as um, as if transactions are started taking place, okay? So the FIRS or LIRS, Lagos Inland Revenue Service, or whichever state you are in, I'm in Lagos State, 
will begin to see as as if you've started doing or would read it as you started doing business so they expect you to file your VAT they expect you to file your PE and some other um, payments that you need to make like annual payments and then monthly payments so if you know that you're not ready please hold on with opening your corporate accounts hold off with opening corporate accounts hold off with open a corporate op <laughs> hold on hold off opening a corporate account all right but if you know you're ready for business then you can go ahead if you know that you've opened a corporate or a corporate account and you've not started using your business then you need to file nil you still need to be filing in something for them to know that you've not started using this there's no transaction on this account so that they don't charge you for what you do not know because at the end of the day they will look back at the records and they'll say you have your your you have to pay a fine first of all you will pay the backlog the backlog of the things they're supposed to have remitted and then they will pay you they will be, be issued a fine so they would find you and you need to pay that penalty fee you need to pay that fine and you do not want any of this to happen so get a tax consultant or get someone who knows this thing who knows the in and out of this to um file you on your behalf or just hold off opening the current account because once you open it is assumed that you started doing business so that is it about registering a business name in nigeria and i hope that i've been able to help you clarify the process so it's pretty easy if you want to do it yourself visit the website as i mentioned earlier or you can get someone to do it for you and pay for their services either way works just fine but just be um, um just make sure that you're engaging the services of the right person and you will not be you know nobody's going to scam you nobody's going to you know just twist the process for you okay if you have any questions if you have any questions please you can ask in the comments and i'll do it to answer to the best of my ability all right and if you have topic suggestions as well i will be grateful if you can drop them for me cake business topics because that's what my channel is about you can drop them in the comments i'll be grateful please if you've enjoyed this video and it's been informative and insightful please give this video a thumbs up like this video and then subscribe to my channel turn on notifications as well and share with those in your caking communities until i see you in the next video stay happy stay safe and stay blessed